Alright guys, welcome back to my walkthrough of Soul Papa 6 this video in the next part. Now, you saw it in the first part, uh, I guess I was healed for most of the part, and uh, he ended up fighting some people. Uh, he ended up getting trained by Soul Edge, uh, uh, Soul Edge to Dura Nikaliuga and Dabaska Nika, um, and Ice Kelik, who I think prologue to Chronicle of the Soul 8. Point seven, I end up being him. Now, what if you see, uh, basically, I'm doing the main story, which I guess is with, I think, Helix. And if you see down the line, I guess it's the different characters. So, I guess I'm doing the main story. So, well, let's get to this next part, y'all. Chronicle of the Souls 8. How dare he harm my family? Have at you! Maxi, Cap, this is bad. Ugh. Careful of that axe, brother. That son of a... He'll pay for this. He will pay! Who the hell are you? <laughs> no matter. <laughs> You're just another okay, sacrifice. Okay. What? He still needs strong souls to increase his strength. Fall back. Stop right there. Fight him too? He, he's one of us. Okay, so I won't kill him. Just save your strength. He would just turn into a freaking nut job. This one?
Blame me if I overdo it. Great! I'll ruin you! I didn't have better things to do. Damn, got my work cut out for me. If the mirror doesn't work. The only option I've got is to kill him. You can thank Cam. Adios, Cam. Everyone. Of course, it's all Astaroth's fault. Take... Take, take it, kill it, kill it I know, Cam. I know. It's like you said. He's one of us. I ain't leaving him behind. And you know... Those guys will be back for him. We will get our revenge. It's the only reason I live for now. Chaku wielder who wants me dead. Maxi? I have no idea what you're talking about. Even so, what's the deal? What? I thought all warriors knew you have to strike first. Hold on a sec. Looks like we're done talking. I may look easy going, but I never back down from a challenge. <laughs> you're sure one plucky fellow. I will honor you with a duel. Don't blame me if you get hurt. Gotta fight Maxi next. Let's go! Battle 1! Fight! Fight! The last of us will be struck. I can get on board with that! Ready? Come on! Booyah! Stand aside! Booyah! What? Back off! Stand aside! Here you go! Stand aside! Take this! Take this! Take this! Try this! Get it! You're mine! You're mine! Out of the way! Out of the way! Rhea! Out of the way! What the? Damn it! Who what? That's it? 
Wait, what do you mean you got the wrong person? <laughs> I'm sorry. I am Mitsurugi. So many people want me dead, it's hard to keep track. Seriously? You may want to rethink your life choices. Well, if you seek Soul Edge, the most powerful weapon ever, you're bound to attract trouble, right? Soul Edge? We've got our own beef with that. Well, this is quite a coincidence. Let me just give you this word of advice. Beware of the ninja Taki. Soul Edge and her go hand in hand. So Taki's like a bad so guy? So long! She has Soul Edge? The hell was up with that guy? No idea. He put up a good fight. I'll give him that. Is everyone that's looking for Soul Edge like him? Just try not to overdo it, okay, Maxi? Ha, <laughs> you worry too much. If anything, you're the one we need to keep an eye on. Yeah, that mirror thing can make him turn into a freaking psycho. Chronicles of the Souls, 10 Finn, and Keelik and Maxi headed west. Eventually arriving at an oasis capital, he transported location in the Middle East where they attempted to get a permission. I saw it, searching alone, he had stumbled upon a park where he had an unexpected encounter with a young woman from Asia. Hmm. What? Is that... Is that... The Ling Shang Su style sword technique? Chang Lin? Why is he staring? They could be twins. Huh? Ling Sheng Su? I've heard of it. My mother might have trained there when she was younger. She taught me how to use a sword. Admit it, you're impressed. Yeah, I am. You move very, uh, gracefully. <laughs> Thank you. Are you traveling somewhere? Yeah, I'm heading west. Really? Me too. What are you doing around here? I just, you know, happen to be passing through. I see. It must be fate. Oh. <laughs> A shadow lies upon your soul. So, I'm Shanghua, and you are? I... Hey, Killick! You found someone you want to bring along? Ha <laughs> ha I can't take my eye off you for five seconds, can I? No, it's not... We're going in the same direction. The more the merrier. Thanks, Killick. I, uh... Okay. Chronicles of the Soul Eleven: The Shadow of the Azura Knight. The Shang went now on board the duel of Kilik and Maxi King Trio. For the west they headed, the more their target swords came to dominate their conversations. All three of them left the Soul Edge. Nice. Nightmare. So he's the wielder of Soul Edge? If my investigations are correct, yes. Kind of an over-the-top name, isn't it? <sighs> okay, let's go over everything. They're banding together. And their leader is Nightmare. He's friends with the jerk I'm after. A real piece of work called Astaroth. Then there's that lizard freak and a woman called Ivy, 
who so uses a whip sword. up with Nightmare? That's one hell okay. of a crew. We could end up facing a whole army. Nightmares are like phantoms. Wherever they appear, they slaughter everyone in sight. They're monsters. What do they want? Who knows? Killick, doesn't your master know anything about all this? I don't know. Uh, well, that's just great. Still... Whatever we do, I think our paths will cross at some point. Yeah, at some point. Great. Are you? Hmm. Grow? The order stands Places? as it was. Understood. I will make contact shortly. Oh no, I'm playing so caliber six. Don't mind me.
Om Vajra Dharma Kilik. So it seems my information was sound. I will tell you one thing. Nightmare has established a base in an abandoned castle called Ostrinesburg. Head there if you seek Soul Edge. What? Who the hell are you? Uh. Oh, Kalik, are you okay? Yes, fine. Tell me, Kalik, who exactly are you? People seem out to get you. I apologize for getting you involved in all this. Stop acting so formal. <sighs> Fine. I'll open up first. I've been hiding something from you. I'm searching for Soul Edge too. Really? My country, the Ming Empire. You know it, right? It's going through some hard times. Violence is the norm. In the hope of saving our land, the Emperor asked me directly to search for the Hero's Sword, also known as Soul Edge. So, that's what I'm trying to do. I may not look like one, but I'm a soldier. <sighs> Surprised? Well, it means I've been involved in this from the start. <laughs> You're the first person I've told. It was supposed to be an Imperial secret. Does that affect things between us? Yeah, I guess so. Sorry. I knew some time ago I would have to tell you everything. So I'll just say it. Soul Edge is evil. It isn't gonna save your empire. Okay. If you say so, it must be true. I thought it was a little strange. How could that so-called hero sword save our land? Okay, that settles it. I'm gonna stick with you, Killick. What? But... My duty is important to me. But I want to know the truth. I want to see it for myself. <sighs> okay, when this journey's over, escort me back to my land. With Maxi too, of course. No ifs, ands, or buts. What have I gotten myself into? I guess it's that fate. So Don't you worry it's about that. Evil. I know fate has plunged you into misfortune, but my mother always said, fate is carved with your own hands. <laughs> um, I'm kidding? Oh, right. Never mind then. Yes? Is something the matter? Um, no. It's just, you look a little sad. Oh, really? Pardon me, but are you a traveler? Well, uh, you could say that. I am too. I mean, I am from this town. I came to this shrine to pray before embarking on my journey. You... you're a warrior, aren't you? Yes. I was too. I fought for the longest time. It is why I can never simply pass by someone with as forlorn a countenance as yours. There is something I must do. When you find a reason to fight, you find a reason to punish yourself. I was the same. There are some things we are powerless to do anything about. People speak of fate, but I wonder if there is worth in sacrificing yourself for it. I feel so uncertain. The darkness of the soul can be troubling. It's always with me, like a real shadow, dark and unshakable. Yet all is not lost. I can't just forget the past in order to save myself. It is no bad thing to keep hold of the past. Those dear to you will always be in your memories, still. is the past. If 
if you ask me. There are those you need to protect in the here and now. So, you should wear a more fitting expression. Uh, okay? Listen to me babbling on. <laughs> I have to go. Are you okay? Yes. Pain does indeed lie in the past. I shall pray for your safety. As will I. Those I need to protect in the here and now. Are you sure this is the right way? It should be. I can't believe we got separated from Maxi. Damn it. Look out! <laughs> what the? So you made it this far. Huh? <laughs> Why? Is that all it takes to hobble you? If so, do you honestly think you can take on Soul Edge? Good. You're a fool. <laughs> no human can bear that power. I'll stop you here and now before you make contact with the Cursed Sword. Hold on! I won't let you touch Killick! Oh, really? Why do you interfere? You never had anything to do with the sword before. For your own sake, stay out of this. I didn't choose to get involved. But now I'm choosing not to back down. Gas Queen. Battle 1. Fight! Game is new. If I were you, I'd back away now. Won't know unless I try. After all that pretension, Pratter! The sword conceals a hidden power. Stand aside! Counter-strike! Okay. Battle 2! You leave me! 
me no choice. Too slow! Leave this place! Huh? There's something strange about that sword. How do you like this? Whoa! <laughs> what? What's wrong? Had enough? Heh. <laughs> So you controlled the evil yourself. Fair enough. Just take care. Soul Edge is more powerful than ever before. The instant you give yourself over to your shadow, I'll kill you. You've been warned. There's no escape from a ninja with the power to seal. <laughs> Yeah. I knew pursuing Soul Edge would be no easy task, but... <sighs> Alright, so I think I'm gonna end this part here. Um... Well, I was going to technically do, like, the same mode in one go, but I think it's a little bit pretty long, so I think the next part will be the last of the main story, and then a part three will be the main story, the last of the part uh, story, hopefully. Um, and then in the fourth episode, I'll probably start off with the movie. Um, this time I'm going to go in order of Chronic Club Sword. So, uh, yes, yeah, stay tuned for the next part of, uh, so, uh, the main story of Soul Cabin 6. If you like this part, uh, please do like, comment below on how I'm doing with, uh, Soul Cabin 6 so far, and, uh, subscribe to my channel to turn on all my recent content. It's going to be a good game. Peace out.